मैं हूं डॉक्टर राकेश जोशी यू कैन सी माय बायो डाटा आई एम ए कंसल्टेंट आई सर्जन एंड दैट ओनली डिस्क्राइब्स पार्ट ऑफ माय वर्क पार्ट ऑफ माय पर्सनालिटी पार्ट ऑफ माय जॉब एंड टू स्टार्ट विद बिकॉज आई एम एन आई सर्जन सो आई वुड से नजर और नजरिए का खेल है जिंदगी नजर और नजरिए का खेल है जिंदगी नजरिया बदल के देखिए नजारे बदल जाएंगे ये नजारे मेरे लिए बदल रहे हैं ये नजारे आपके लिए भी बदल सकते हैं जरूरत है तो सिर्फ नजरिया बदल लेंगे टू टेल यू अबाउट माय स्टोरी बॉर्न इन ए मिडिल क्लास हम्बल बैकग्राउंड माय फादर वांटेड टू बिकम अ डॉक्टर ही वाज इन अ मेडिकल कॉलेज लाहौर मेडिकल कॉलेज इन नाइनटीन partition happened he couldn't become it i could see that pain in his eyes so i thought i'll fulfill his dream and become a doctor studied hard got selected in government medical college and doing my mbbs so that's when uh, another incident happened and that was my uh, nani ma maternal grandmother she uh, was suffering from glaucoma living in sonipat near delhi couldn't get proper treatment and she went blind so that time i could see a woman who was handling the whole household with great energy after losing her eyesight she became totally dependent on everybody in the house so that really stuck in my mind and i thought that after my mbbs i'm going to be an eye specialist and at least not allow any of my glaucoma patient or kala mukhiya patient to lose eyesight because it is preventable only thing is there should be a proper communication between doctor and patient only then we can save uh, sight of a glaucoma or kala mutia patient then first first 30 years uh, as a eye doctor i was doing a routine job attending to patients in opd doing surgeries for cataract glaucoma spectacle removal lasers surgeries and was quite content and happy thinking that this is what uh, should be the life of an eye surgeon then corona happened it was 2020 and uh, i had lot of time to retrospect on my life in phase 1 of corona my clinic was closed for 4 and a half months and during that time i came to know that uh, some engineers from iit who have retired from navy they were doing a project on smart vision glasses with the aid of artificial intelligence i contacted them and met mr ramu muthangi the person who whose sister lost vision because of uncontrolled diabetes a condition called diabetic retinopathy so here was another man who had a, who had seen a family member losing sight and wanted to do something and i asked him to sir i would like to join you he was kind enough to allow me to join the project i am the key opinion leader for this project and looking after the medical part and spreading the awareness so then in last 5 years we been developing these glasses uh, and now we have a working model uh, with us with this uh, working model what can we do if there is a these are glasses for visually impaired people and uh, it can uh, do lot of uh, assistance to uh, blind persons or visually impaired persons if we it has five buttons if you just press first button it will tell you things around us i would ask all of you to just close your eyes for 30 seconds and i'll also be closing my eyes for 30 seconds 
to imagine how a visually impaired person would feel in this environment. So please close your eyes for 30 seconds. Now for me, there's darkness. There are some lights coming from here, but there's nobody in this room. You can open your eyes. Now what would these glasses do? Once a blind person would wear these glasses, it will explain that you are in an auditorium where dozens of people are sitting. It will explain the environment. There are cameras there, there is a screen, there is a prompter there. So it, it would explain the scenario to a blind person. He will feel, okay, I am also uh, part of this environment. If you press button number two, it has walking mode where after wearing these glasses, if a blind person moves, if there's any obstac obstacle two meters ahead, it would warn. Sir, there's an obstacle, there's a wall, there's a door, there's a pole, please turn right. Suppose there's an uh, obstacle in right also, it will say no turn left. So it will prevent that collision. Every day blind people hit something because they can't see it and there's nobody to help them. Then there's a reading mode. If they put uh, a newspaper, a book or any readable material, even handwritten material, this spectacle will read out everything from this uh, newspaper or book. So they don't have to uh, call somebody to read something. If they put a currency note in front of it, it will tell this is a 100 rupees Indian note, this is 500 rupees Indian note. So they don't, don't have to ask anybody about currency. Then it can converse in 72 languages. All regional languages of India, all European languages, 72 languages. So it can be used by anybody in this world. Similar project is there in Israel and USA where the similar glasses, uh, our project and their projects were running parallel. So uh, a glass from Israel or uh, US would cost around five and a half lakh rupees. Here we are giving it for 20,000 rupees. I have an NGO, Third Eye Trust, where if a patient cannot afford it, we subsidize it. You know, if we feel that he is really, really poor, and really cannot afford to give even 100 rupees, we'll give it free to those people. So idea of coming to TEDx was to spread this message. Most of the people are not aware. More than 50% of eye doctors are not aware that these glasses are available for blind. Idea is to spread awareness. Yes, there's something for visually impaired persons. You see here something written retinitis pigmentosa. I'm sure none of you would have heard about this disease. This disease is what a child gets from their parents. And by middle age, they get night blindness, they can't see in night. And their field of vision constricts and they get a tunnel vision as if they are seeing through a binocular. There is very less awareness about retinitis pigmentosa in the world. There's a reason. In the world, one out of 6,000, 7,000 person gets retinitis pigmentosa. In India, it's 10 times more. One out of 650 people in India has retinitis pigmentosa. WHO makes all programs according to world figures, not according to Indian figures. For them, it's not all that important. One in 7,000. In India, it's one in 650. This is my photograph with a happy patient whom we have been treating for last one and a half year and see the smile. A dependent person who used to come with his father from Rajasthan, now he came all alone. Independent life, because his field of vision has increased, he can see to some extent in night. This is the transformation which I want you to remember and spread the awareness. 
most of the people who go to their eye doctor unfortunately the answer they get is there is no treatment for retinitis pigmentosa i'll rapidly go through this there are medicines if i start naming those medicines which are there for last 80 years for last 50 years vitamin a anestyl cysteine anestyl carnosin dorsolamide i can't name even all those and most of the time the rp patients are told by their doctor that there is no treatment for this disease there are prism glasses which can increase their field of vision there is vision therapy you see this virtual reality glasses worn by that kid these are uh, vision therapy exercises there are smart vision glasses if they lose a lot of vision then smart vision glasses come to their help and there are other low vision aids so idea is there is a lot of things we can do important another important issue i know that most of the kids are not fortunate enough even if they are born in a nursing home or hospital they don't get the, their eye examination done so here i would like to spread the awareness that every kid has the right to get his or her eye examination done at birth reason four of the most dreaded diseases of the eye they occur at birth child children are born with those diseases which are the worst eye diseases one can imagine i'll name retinoblastoma which is cancer of the eye one day all old baby will have it congenital cataract persistent hyperplastic primary vitreous you can imagine how long the name is very fancy retinopathy of prematurity don't remember these names just remember that uh, whenever you visit somebody who's got a new baby tell them to get their eyes examined why all these diseases if detected early can be cured if not cured like in this case you can see not a very pleasant uh, picture but this this moves your heart this child could not get treatment within 6 to 11 months he's retinoblastoma the cancer has grown that much lost his eyes later on lost his life also so simple message all newborn kids should get an exa examination done and if they have any of these bad diseases those can be completely cured one more last thing this topic is very close to uh, my heart eye donation now and then we keep hearing about eye donation yes one should do it how to do it whom to call you need nothing you just need a determination that i want to donate my eyes that will happen after your death so you don't have to worry uh, so one point that about eye donation people have a uh, misconception is that uh, eye donation can correct all kind of blindness no uh, eye donation cannot uh, correct all kind of blindness it can correct only corneal blindness when the black part of the eye kali putli jab safed ho jati you can see in the first photograph uh, patient had this we done keratoplasty and see normal eye so if patient is blind because of cornea and you can imagine uh, there are 1.2 million persons which are affected blind because of cornea blindness it looks small 1.2 this is english way of saying uh, counting 12 lakh log india mein hai jinki blindness theek ho sakti hai agar aaj se ek saal ke andar tak jitne logon ki bhi india mein death hoti hai wo agar sab log apni eyes donate karte hain to it will take one year to convert those blind people into people with sight so what we have to do is just tell your family that on that unfortunate day when i die i want to donate my eyes right you don't need any registration you don't need any formalities people will come from eye hospital take out uh, the eye and best part is you donate two eyes this will be given one eye to two patients one eye each so two patients get vision because of your donation we always think that i guess yes we should donate something but we don't uh, prepare our family members for this 
please spread this message that uh, your eyes can live after you only if you donate those eyes now in the end uh, i would like to say that uh, if you are happy it's good but if somebody else is happy because of you it's wonderful just make somebody happy by your small gestures i am an eye specialist so i'm talking about eye topics where you can make somebody happy and think about all these things and talk to uh, your friends and family when you go back home and in the end mile sur mera tumhara you must have heard this popular song mile sur mera tumhara to drishti badhit ko mile sahara please consider these points my humble request thank you